Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the first two weeks in January. So this reading may or may not be for you. So just if it if it is, it is. If it's not, it's not. It is what it is, right? So what do we got for Gemini for the first two weeks in January? What do we got for Gemini? This is just going to be an overall energy. Let's go with that right there. Appreciation. What a great card. So, obviously, the next two weeks is going to be about appreciation. So, maybe somebody is going to be appreciating you or you're going to be appreciating them. We have somebody here that is very, um, looks like this person is very graceful, very generous, very kind. Um, this person is uh, all about love because a rose is a symbol of love. It feels as though you, I, I, I feel like you're going to be appreciated for something. But the next two weeks is about appreciation either way. Um, appreciating the beauty in things, appreciating the small things, being grateful for what you have. So it is about appreciation in the next two weeks. Somebody may be a, it feels like there, there's appreciation for giving, you know, or for doing what you do, whatever it is. Um, being appreciated, being seen for you, what you have done, whatever that is, in a good way. So what do we have for Gemini? Two cards. The Knight of Swords reversed in the Three of Swords. Now we know that the Three of Swords is a painful separation. It's painful. It's, feel, it's like somebody is feeling like their heart has been ripped out. Okay, I mean, that is very painful. It feels like they're that's like a, somebody's heart being ripped right out of their chest. I mean, that's what it is, right? Um, I feel as though you know, you may be feeling that way because maybe you dealt with somebody that was insincere, the, the Knight of Swords reverse, somebody that um, is rude and arrogant, a know-it-all, somebody that, you know, is blaming you for everything. Perhaps you've been blamed for something and it hurts. It hurts that they're, they're lying about you. I mean, this is somebody who doesn't care who they hurt. The Knight of Swords reversed. Um, you, there could be somebody that is, has some mental health problems and that hurts. Um, this is a bully. Okay, this is also an explosive energy. So there's, you know, definitely some heartache. There could also some be, be somebody that has some heart problems and they need to get their heart checked out. I just need to be honest with you because this is, could be explosive energy. Um, so just, you know, if you're having any heart issues, I suggest you go to the doctors. But anyway, um, you could be dealing with somebody who always wants to fight, you know, and that's heartbreaking. It is heartbreaking that you, it's like somebody that doesn't want to own up to their actions. They don't want to be held accountable for any, anything. So, um, somebody could have ghosted you. They could have left you behind. They could have, they could have left you for dead. Whatever the case is, is somebody, uh, is feeling some heartache and, and some pain over uh, getting hurt by or maybe run over or you know this is a hit and run perhaps whatever I mean I'm not saying that there's gonna be a hit and run but you know in hit and run kids there's a metaphor that goes with that you know what I'm saying so um, this is like a, a, a running away somebody may have ran away you know what I mean whatever this is um, we have some definitely we have some 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 hurt okay there's there is definitely some hurt there could even be an accident I, I mean I'm sorry I don't like to give these kinds of messages at all I really don't you're dealing with this is a very there could be a dangerous situation okay somebody may have gotten themselves involved with a dangerous dangerous situation I, I don't know what is going on these next two weeks but this is heart pain heart break okay of some sort um i mean take a look at her face i mean it is definitely a sad situation whatever is going on 
Now, I don't know if there's gonna there could be a motorcycle issue with the motorcycle. It doesn't have to be. Um, there could be somebody that is is running away. Somebody hit somebody and left. Um, this person doesn't want to be held accountable. Wants gets away with their they they think they can get away with it. So whatever that means to you. Let's see what else we got here. Ooh, six of pentacles reversed. Now this is somebody that is mean. Very, very mean. Somebody that really, really, really likes control. We have a fraud here with both these cards. Somebody that is fraudulent. Um, this is an abuse of power right here. So somebody that um, only will help and give with strings attached. We definitely have a, a, somebody that is... You know, this is generosity, and this, is, but this is a lack of generosity. Somebody's been taking advantage of your generosity, or they did take advantage of your generosity. This person is a bully, and they, they're using, they're, it's like they've abused their power, and your heart may be broken. Um, this person, um, they may even use a child to get what they want. Okay, because this is the pages are usually they can be children. This person is not very kind, they're not very gentle, they really don't care who they hurt. They're they don't know what love is, they don't they don't know what love is all about. They're cold and withdrawn. Um, they may have their heart set on somebody that is unavailable and they're using another person, you know, they're just using. Whatever they, they're doing, whatever that they can do to get their way, and they don't care who they hurt. Ooh, ooh, the death card. This is like a near-death experience. So, you know, and that, there could be, I'm not trying to scare anybody, but I'm wondering if there's going to be an accident. I mean, <laughs> this is resisting change, not wanting to let go. Of an unrequited love situation therefore they're willing to do whatever it takes and somehow you're involved you are involved in a situation with another person that doesn't care who they hurt and it's hurting you they're hurting you to get their own way this person is absolutely a bully um, they're resisting change it's like something has ended and they don't want to let it end so it's an unrequited love situation it is they just don't want to let it end um, we have somebody here that is very dominant okay they like to be dominant now eight of pentacles this is a card of hard work planning somebody is planning something we have somebody that works really 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 hard to accomplish goals ten of pentacles so this is a stable solid foundation right here we have a stable solid foundation this is extreme abundance but this extreme abundance comes after heartbreak putting you're gonna have to work through this pain once you get through this pain, you're this is pain, you're dealing with a painful situation. That's that's the way it goes. I mean, that's what this is. But your hard work is going to pay off because you're. This is like extreme abundance right here. This is a happy, comfortable home. Very stable, very solid, very secure. There's nothing to worry about here. You know, even though there's pain, we have a stable foundation right here. We have a hard, hard worker. This person sits at a desk. May use candles. Interesting. Nine of pentacles. Goes from the eight to the... This is a very self-sufficient individual. We have somebody here that is very, very capable of a success and doesn't need anybody to do it for them. Yes, there's a heartbreaking situation going on here, but this is giving you the strength to persevere. You have the strength. You are very capable. We have a hard, 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 hard worker here that is going to obtain success by not giving up. This person has everything they need to survive and doesn't need another person to complete them.
Ace of Cups, not looking for love. Ace of Cups reversed. This person is just like, you know, this 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 is all of, not looking for or somebody may be feeling like they're not loved. They may be feeling like nobody loves them. This person is very self-sufficient and independent, and doesn't need another person, but there's a lack of love. You know, maybe there's a family problem. There's a family issue and somebody is feeling like they're not loved or they're not getting the reciprocation. Okay. You're on your own. It's like you're, you're on your own. Just because this is like a one-sided situation. It's like one person is doing all the work and the other person is doing nothing. They're lazy and they, they, they are very, um, fly by the seat of their pants. Yeah. So we have somebody here who is suffering. They're doing all the work by themselves, not getting reciprocation, building up the home, building up the foundation, taking care of the kids, doing everything while the other person is not putting in effort, running the roads, um, doesn't even really, it's like they don't really love them. They're not giving them the attention that they need. There's a lack of appreciation. So somebody, maybe you are going to be, oh, I don't know what's happening here. Page of swords, light bulb moment, receiving a message. Somebody's going to be receiving a message. A conflict, there's going to be a conflict. There's going to be a message that is received that makes you feel it's going to light something up inside of you. It's going to give you some sort of clarity because this is a light bulb moment. You're going to receive a message, whether it's from another person or from who know, a book or something is going to wake you up in some way. It's going to give you some sort of, oh, what's that? It's like a ding dong moment. It's like ding, 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 ding. It's going to go, you know, something is going to happen that causes you to take a new approach in some way. Somebody could be coming home as well. I know that I'm changing changing uh, lanes here, but this is home. And this could be a child coming home. Somebody's hard work is really paying off. They are very capable of success. This person is stable and solid and secure. Maybe some, there's been a, a separation because that is, the, they see the separation in the heart. There's been a separation. And maybe this per, somebody is, is finally coming home. Or they're going home. They're, they're, maybe there's some sort of accident that wakes somebody up. You know, it gives them this light bulb moment. This is a loss though. The Six of Pentacles reverse. A hair font. This is there's a higher power involved here. There, the hair font is a higher power. We have a highly intuitive individual here who is connected to the divine. This person has a divine connection. This person is is happy go lucky. This person is very spiritual. Um, I think that you are, and this could be an intuitive message. I think that you are going to receive a message. It could be from somebody that has passed away. It could be from a spirit guide. It could be from a spiritual advisor. It could be from your God, your higher power. Um, there's going to be a message. I'm telling you what, there's somebody is going to get a message where it's, where the, and it could be somebody, this is, the Hierophant can often be a counselor. Okay. So it could be a counselor in this earthly realm or a counselor from above. Okay. So, um, There's a higher power working in your favor. Believe it. You may not know it, but there's a higher power working in your behavior. Somebody's not putting in the work. Somebody's not, not putting in their fair share. And they're, they're holding on to a dead end where there's no love. There's, it's not equal. There's not equal give and take. We have somebody here that is a bully, that is bullying another person. 
It's almost like they're stealing from that person or they're hurting that person. They're abusing their power. They're a master as well. This person is a master. They really know how to uh, control. They know how to control. You could be dealing with a Leo. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. This person is very, very controlling. They're able to control. This is a very uh, person that has a lot of confidence. Somebody here that has a real lot of confidence. They may be overly confident. Or we have, what I see is somebody is holding on to another person. They're holding on to somebody and they're refusing to let them go. And they don't care who they hurt in the process to keep this person. And somehow you're involved. It's like they're losing this person. It is a dead end. But this person can't let go. They can't let go. It's an unrequited love situation. They're not. This person doesn't love them. But this person can't let go. And somehow you are involved. But there is a higher power involved. That sees your hard work. There's going to be a message that is delivered. That clicks. Okay. Something clicks. And it has to do with home. It has to do with the home front. They have a painful separation. Could be with a child. It could be somebody. It doesn't have to be a child because this is somebody that goes their own way. The Nine of Pentacles is an independent person. Independence. Who is very capable of success. This is somebody who builds themselves up from the ground and does it very well. Does not quit. Does not give up. This person is going is being watched. This person is being observed. This person is. They're not getting the love or the appreciation that they deserve. But somebody is watching. That's an observation. Whoa, we could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Definitely, because we have a lot of pentacles here. This person is a homemaker. This person is solid, stable, hard worker, has money. Um, has been stable for a long time, has worked hard. We have a very hard worker here. Very hard worker who is extremely abundant and stable. This person's not getting the love that they deserve. They're not getting the emotional support that they deserve because of this bully. We got a bully over here. Doesn't care who they hurt. But there's a higher power that is illuminating the situation. So the situation will come to light. It will be illuminated. It will be. Um, this person is very down to earth. So anyway, I feel, Gemini, as though you have somebody that is watching or you are watching. Could go vice versa. These readings could be vice versa. There is some sort of observation going on and it is going to be revealed that we have somebody here that is very stable because this is stable and this is stable and extremely, extremely stable. Okay. Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. I mean, we got a lot of uh, stability here. We have a very hard worker who has proven themselves to the world. But what is this Three of Swords? This is heartbreak. This is heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking because people don't appreciate all their hard work. Five of extreme competition here. This is your competition card. Five of wands reversed. This competition is going to end. There will be relief. Relief is coming. This game is almost over. We have, there's a, several people that have been involved that are trying to win it, win, right? All they want to do is win. They don't care. They don't care what happens as long as they win. But this, this is just about over with the five of wands. This competition, this game is just about over. Five of wands reversed. Somebody has been reluctant to give up, but I think they're about to. 
or something is going to happen. The Empress reversed. Now this is a mother that doesn't take very good care of her children. She doesn't take care of herself either. She doesn't eat well. She's not very clean. She's not very motherly. She's selfish. This could be the loss of a child. I have to be honest with you. This person doesn't focus on her, her family. She doesn't focus on her family. And this could be a third party situation. This could be. This is somebody who who involves themselves, the Empress Reverse, in third party situations because she doesn't care who she hurt. She's a whore. That slipped. I'm sorry. Anyway, um, so we have a very selfish individual who <coughs> doesn't accept responsibilities as she should. She doesn't put her children first. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I feel as though there is some sort of painful separation that is about to happen because somebody hasn't been, uh, or has happened. Okay, somebody didn't put in the work when they were supposed to. They were overly confident. They were focused on their pride and their ego. Okay, a lot of pride, a lot of ego here. Somebody was holding on to a dead end that ended for a while. It ended, it already ended. And it feels like this higher power is, is seeing that this is not healthy. It's not healthy. There's no growth. Um, they're illuminating the fact that there's no growth. They're illuminating the fact that it's unhealthy. They're, uh, I feel like somebody is going to get caught with the Knight of Swords reversed. I feel like we have somebody here that things are going to get out of control. Um, this person is very ignorant and a know-it-all and they're looking for a fight and I think that that they're gonna a slip okay I think that they're going to slip and um, somehow I think that there's an you perhaps is go are going to be seen for your hard work and your effort and you will probably be appreciated for you know stepping in and offering your assistance We do have somebody here that is um, receiving a new opportunity because this is the nine to the ten. Okay, they're receiving an opportunity, a golden opportunity. This is a gift or a gift of stability. Uh, they could be getting a raise. There could be a new home. There could be a better home. Somebody could be going to a better home. Something about the home or whatever it is it's money it's monetary there's there's money here there's definitely money here so somebody could be getting a raise or a bonus or whatever it is there it's something that you can hold on to it's long term so there is some sort of and I just got chills down my arm so this is a long term uh, stable opportunity so somebody is going to be receiving that after being in some sort of competition where it doesn't matter who gets hurt as long as I win. And I think that that painful situation is definitely ending and somebody is going to, I mean, the Ten of Pentacles is comfort. Okay, it's all the comforts of home. Okay, so I think that somebody is, is going to feel relief and, and comfort as the situation uh comes to an end whatever it is there is definitely a higher power involved that is um, illuminating as the truth of a situation although it hurts it's gonna it's gonna bring somebody uh, to a place of comfort I mean that's all that I can say this is very comfortable very 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 comfortable solid secure stable uh, 
permanency. So.